Hi, welcome back. In this tutorial, you'll learn how to use one hand pose over and over for an entire improv session and the different ways you can use it. Also, by doing this, your body will learn that hand position, a shape, so that then you can learn music more easily. So, The one that we're going to use today is cigarette pose. It's like those 1940s actresses that thought cigarettes were glamorous. Anyway, it's, and we're going to do an F cigarette pose because it's easy to see with the blue string. And actually it's a, a triad where you lower the second note one. So it's a beautiful sort of a suspended sound. Now do them both in unison. If you're on a single string harp, then go. Or you can do that on a double, but unison. Now do arpeggiated unison. Then you do mirrored. Just one side plays, moves away, the other side plays. It's like a mirror image. Then you can repeat those. Let your hand be relaxed like mine is, lifting away a little bit. Now another thing you can do is opposite, is contrary motion, up and down. Once you've got that, you can repeat them. Be sure to close into your hand. Let's do those on a D cigarette pose. D, E, A. So first, just play them blocked, then play them arpeggiated. And then something we didn't do with the F, but you can do also to learn these poses, is echo left, right, left, right, left, right. And then mirrored contrary motion and and then up down contrary motion and then block to echo and then block to echo block to unison. First, for an improv, come up with a chord progression that you want to mess around with. So, for instance, if I'm doing, I'm in the key of C, and I go, oh, an F cigarette pose sounds great. G sounds great. I'm just blocking them to find them. What about E? I don't care for that too much. So, oh, uh, maybe I'll start it on a D. I still don't like that E, okay? So D, F, C, D, 
Hey, I like that. Okay, so I'm just going to do an improv with D, C, D, A. It's really D minor, C major, D minor, A minor. You don't have to know that. Okay, so I'm going to go... Okay, so I'm going to go... Okay, I'll do... Okay, I'll do... I'll just mess around. One, two, three, four. So I was doing the mirrored arpeggiated. Okay, so I'm going to do four of those. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, blocked, blocked. One, two, three, four. I think I'll do G. You can change tempo. You could play it stacked, so those are both C cigarette poses. If you're good at rolled, you can. A whole section of an improv just rolled stacked. What if I did um, contrary motion? That was G. Be sure and close this F and then D and then C. I just went and I ended with one note of that cigarette pose, the top one. Or I could end with... I could block it. So many... Block it. So many cool things you can do. So, you can change your rhythm. Locked unison. That's the G. You always find one that sounds pretty to end on. If it doesn't sound pretty where you are, that doesn't sound like a great end, just go to the next one. It usually is, and then you can end. Improv is great because nobody knows what you're gonna do so they can't label it a mistake. If it sounds weird, just go to the next thing. And usually that resolves it. So if I'm here, I just act like it's no big deal. Go to the next thing down. You can also vary where you play it on the harp. And that's a nice place to do things softly. You can also do, of course, echoed, left, right, left, right, left, right. Left, right. But you can do it with a contrary motion. So the right hand is coming down, left hand's coming up, left, right, left, right, left. 
left, right. It's really pretty up here. So the, the left third finger plays and then the right thumb plays. So the, the left third finger plays and then the right thumb plays. Then index finger, index finger, and then left thumb and right third finger. You can work with just those things and then I'll teach you some more in the next video.